Hello, and welcome back. Uh, we're in the middle of a, a video series here on the five most common vitamin deficiencies in America, and today we're going to talk about iodine. Iodized salt is the chief source of iodine in the industrialized world. Rates of iodine deficiency have reached epidemic levels, increasing fourfold over the past 40 years. Recent scientific analysis reveals that many commercial table salt brands now contain inadequate amounts of iodine. Iodine is critical to healthy thyroid function. Inadequate iodine intake causes weight gain, low energy, depression, uh, cardiovascular disease, cognitive decline, and a variety of cancers. Iodine is vital to breast health in older women with low intake correlated to increased risk for breast cancer and fibrocystic breast disease. It's been estimated that one-third of the planet is iodine deficient. A lack of iodine is linked to attention deficit disorder, uh, brain uh, function problems, uh, lowered IQ in children. Iodine plays a key role in brain development, in your immune system function, your thyroid function. Individuals who suffer from thyroid conditions are often lacking iodine because the body can't make thyroid hormone without it. Iodine is also involved in hormone health. So many women who are deficient in iodine also are low in important estrogen called estradiol, which is a protective hormone against hormone-driven cancers and the effects of toxic, toxic estrogen uh, overload. Uh, fibrocystic breast tissues are also related to iodine deficiency because iodine cell receptors are located in the breast tissue. Uh, heavy metals in the body further contribute to iodine deficiencies, and many people today are suffering the effects of heavy metal toxicities without even knowing it. Uh, heavy metals compete with iodine at the cellular level, specifically for um, iodine cell receptor. Uh, these metals block iodine from the cell receptor so the body can't use what little iodine it has in the first place. And it's flushed out of your system and not absorbed. So this can be a big problem for many people. Um, other chemicals compete on the receptors uh, for iodine are things like chloride, uh, chlorine, bromide, bromine, um, and these are very abundant in our current society. What about iodine in iodized table salt? That's one of the things I hear all the time. Now we're getting enough. Well, it simply doesn't provide enough iodine to make an impact on your health. Um, just like you know, back in the old days, the minimum requirements for vitamin C could prevent scurvy, but may not be optimal. Uh, many health uh, conscious people are avoiding salt nowadays. Uh, the best dietary sources include ocean foods like seaweed and fish. Um, and again, you know, the quality of our and the sources of our seafood is becoming compromised, so it's contaminated with polluted waters and uh, heavy metals like mercury and radioactive element cesium is also contained uh, in a lot of our seafood, uh, specifically seabed caught in the Pacific Ocean ever since the whole uh, Fukushima issue. So uh, other sources of iodine you know, include yogurt, pasteurized eggs, cow's milk, strawberries, and if you're not getting enough iodine in your diet, consider supplementation. And for some people, supplementation is the only way to restore uh, balance in the body. Uh, I take an iodine supplement sporadically, uh, but recommend getting it from non-toxic dietary sources as much as possible. Uh, iodine deficiency is rapidly emerging as a major risk factor for breast cancer. Uh, human breast tissue and breast milk contains high concentrations of iodine. Uh, even higher than the thyroid gland itself, which contains about 30% of the body's iodine stores. Uh, breast tissue is rich in the same iodine transporting proteins used by the thyroid gland to take up iodine from the blood. The evolutionary reason for this is clear. You know, iodine is essential for the development of a newborn's brain. So the mother's body must have direct means of supplying that iodine to the nursing infants. Iodine plays an important role in the health of women's breast tissue. In the presence of chemicals and enzymes found in the breast tissue, iodine has been shown to exert uh, very powerful antioxidant effects, uh, equivalent to that of vitamin C. Iodine deficient, iodine deficient breast tissues exhibit chemical markers of elevated lipid peroxidase, which is one of the earliest factors in cancer development. Iodine also helps regulate levels of stress hormone cortisol and contributes to the normal immune system function. Abnormal cortisol levels and 
deficient immune function are significant contributors uh, to the risk of breast cancer. Women with fibrocystic breast disease may also suffer from elevated cortisol levels. So taken together, these biological factors explain the well-known link between iodine deficiency, thyroid disease, thyroid cancer, and breast cancer, all of which uh, predominate in postmenopausal women. Uh, cardiovascular health. So again, restoring normal thyroid function helps reverse multiple cardiovascular risk factors, most notably uh, adverse lipid profiles. Yet, our mainstream medicine has traditionally used thyroid hormone treatments, uh, which may be dangerous if, <clears throat> if not uh, over, overdrives an already weakened heart. Uh, iodine therapy shows promise in safely and effectively, uh, safely and effectively modulating these health concerns. Iodine protects against stomach cancer. Uh, the thyroid gland, breast tissue, and portions of the digestive tract share similarities in that. All of them contain rich concentrations of iodine. The stomach lining, in particular, uh, is concentrated with iodine, capitalizing on its antioxidant effects. Uh, this has led medical research to investigate whether iodine deficiency plays a role in cancers of the digestive tract. Uh, in, a, in a couple studies, they found that people living in an iodine deficient area of the world uh, are not only prone to iodine deficiency goiters, but also have higher rates of stomach cancers. Uh, stomach cancers in patients in a landlocked area of Iran where 2.5 times is likely to have severe iodine deficiency than control patients. Gastric cancers is the most common cancer in parts of northern Turkey where iodine deficiency is common and iodine levels in gastric cancer tissues were markedly lower than those in surrounding healthy tissues. I've also seen studies showing that uh, proper iodine levels are very important for prostate health and prevention of prostate cancer. So, that's it for iodine. On the next video, we will talk a little bit about magnesium. So, this is Dr. Scott talking about the top five vitamin deficiencies in America, and we will see you on the next video.